150 years ago, or 200 years ago, when the blacks were slaves, did they ever go to Washington, D.C. and have a rally 200 years ago to protest against slavery? Did they? No. What did they do? Well, a lot of good people in the plantations would say, hey, it's winter time. Let's, let us help build a church for you, dear folks. And they loved them and taught them how to read so they can read the Bible. And here's what the blacks did about 150 years ago. They humbled themselves. They prayed. They sought God's face and they turned from their wicked ways. And God made slavery illegal through a several white presidents, right? It worked, didn't it? This is Pastor Mike Keller. He is Anna Duggar's father. If you don't know who Anna is, Google it. Well, they didn't travel to D.C. to have a rally. They were slaves. They had no freedoms. None. Use your prisoners as research monkeys. Whatever we got to do, mass genocide, abortion, hysterectomy, whatever we got to do, it don't matter what we do. There is no sin so great that white supremacy will not use it. There is no sin so great that white supremacy will not use it. There is no sin. There is nothing that you can name where the white folks will say, we're not going to do that because that's just wrong. You will never see that. You will never see that. You will never see that. World War II, they said you can't drop the atomic bomb on the Japanese people because that'll kill the babies and the women and the unborn and mess the soil up. When I was in Japan a couple years ago, they told me that the area where America dropped the nuclear bomb, food still don't grow. Nothing can live there even now. America, the only nation to drop in a nuclear weapon on another people. They don't have no political morals. They don't have no economic boundaries or borderlines. They don't have no rule book for what you can and can't do to another people. You don't know who the hell you're dealing with. You think if you kiss their ass long enough, you think that if you regurgitate their scholarship long enough, you think that if you get enough of their college degrees, you think if you marry one of their daughters, you think if you pray to their white Jesus, you think that if you worship their scholars in history, and if you pledge loyalty to the Constitution, that they will leave your black ass alone. You are wrong. They don't give a damn about you. Stop investing so much of your time into kissing white folks rear in because it will never pay off. You invest in them, they have never invested in you. You invest in them, they have never invested in you. They are ruthless. Absolutely ruthless. want to control the resources and the opportunities. That's all racism is. Control of resources and opportunities. Systematic, inequitable, unfair, biased distribution. White folks don't believe in equality. Equality is a sin. White supremacy means they must always look better than black people. So equality is a sin. America has never been equitable. America will never be equitable. There has never been a day in the history of this nation. There has never been a single day in the history of this nation where black people were treated fairly and equally. You can't give me a day. If you know of a day, give me a goddamn day. Give me the day. Name a day. Give me a date where on that one day for one hour, two hours, six hours, 12 hours, 18 hours, give me a date where on that day white folks treated black folks equally for an hour. You can't give me a minute. You can't give me a second. They are always scheming on how to disadvantage black folks even more than they already have disadvantaged us. Did you hear what I just said? I said they are always scheming as to how they can do a better job. They are always scheming as to how they can do a better job practicing racism. You 
Negroes are under the assumption that white folks are trying to do away with racism. You silly ass Negroes. You actually believe that Barack Obama being in the White House meant that white people were trying to do away with racism with your dumb ass. Let me tell you a little secret. Whenever white folks look like they about to get rid of racism, that means they really about to strengthen racism. Let me say it again. Whenever it looks like white folks are trying to get rid of racism, that means they about to strengthen racism. That's what that means. What that means is they need to distract you. They need to distract you long enough to refuel the machine. And that's what they did for eight years under Barack Hussein Obama. They distracted Negroes long enough to reorganize and refuel white supremacy all over again. There has never been a second where they have not practiced racism. You can't give me a single second where they have not practiced racism.